Good morning. Uh, so today's little project for me, I'm going to paint the rear calipers on my Miata. So the last project was uh, installing the Willwood six piston big brake pit, big brake kit on the uh, front end of the Mazda. Uh, so today I want to go ahead and paint the stock calipers red to match. Um, so and while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and put on uh, some stainless steel brake lines and I picked up some speed bleeders um, to install on them as well and then I'm going to flush the brake system with some some modal uh, 5.1 brake fluid so this should be interesting I've never done anything like this before um, I've seen a lot of videos on on YouTube other guys painting their brake calipers and it seems like it's pretty common to just leave them on the car I don't like that idea I'm gonna go ahead and pull my calipers off completely especially since I got a uh, remove the brake lines anyway um, it just seems to make sense to me to go ahead and pull them off and then I can get them cleaned up and uh, get them painted the correct way so I've already gone ahead and got the car on jack stands uh, and pulled the tires off so I'm gonna get started on uh, removing the caliper the only thing I'm really not sure on that I've never done before is the parking brake uh, releasing that cable um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm sure that spring, I just got to push that spring out of the way a little bit and release the tension off this cable and it should pop up and over that clip. And then I think there's a bolt right here. I'll just remove this bracket and leave all of this here and then we can pull the caliper off. I'll jump into it. Okay, got the calipers off, driver's side, passenger side. Um, it wasn't too bad, a little bit fiddly. So all I need to do is get these cleaned up and uh, ready for primer.
Okay, jumping ahead a little bit, got everything cleaned up uh, and masked off. So now I'm ready to get it hung up on my little painting rack and get them primed. I've got some uh, some VHT, this is the caliper cleaner, but I bought some VHT white primer and uh, the VHT uh, caliper red, what do I call it? Uh, hell. This stuff, the primer and the red paint, high temp red paint and the high temp clear uh, to put on these. So I'm going to get started on painting. primer coat done. Gonna let this sit for half an hour or so and then it'll be ready for the color coat. So far I think it turned out uh, pretty decent. I'm not gonna bother wet sanding or anything. Um, I mean this is a rough cast uh, part so I'm just gonna leave it as is and between the color coats and the clear I think that'll give me enough gloss. So. We'll let it set and we'll check back in here in a little bit. is raging outside so I had to close the garage door completely but I think my color coat is done all oh, these look pretty good so I'm gonna let this dry for a good half hour 45 minutes and then we'll do a clear coat Okay, here's the finished pieces. Get them unmasked and put back together. Get them on the car. I think they turned out pretty well. Before these go back in the car, just swap out the bleeders. These are a pretty easy swap. All right, brackets in, pads are in. Now we gotta do the caliper. Okay, so there it is. Caliper's all mounted up, uh, ready to go. And I got my new stainless steel brake line installed. Um, pretty straightforward. I think it turned out okay. Uh, the paint's still pretty soft, so I gotta be very careful um, when putting this back in. So there was a couple of scratches 
up here back there that uh, came from bolting it up so but I think I think that'll be easy to touch up I can always spray a little bit of paint in a in a little jar or whatever and touch it up with a brush um, but yeah I think that that doesn't look too bad it's definitely better than just the plain uh, the raw you know cast steel and I think it's cleaner than uh, painting them on the car too that just scared the crap out of me getting overspray all over the wheel well of the car and you can see I mean it's a pretty close match it's, it's darker but not a lot darker so I think uh, you know with the wheels on you won't really even notice that there's a shade difference between front and rear, ca rear caliper so I'm pretty happy that was a pretty easy pretty easy little upgrade so. <sighs> okay Alright, I didn't get any of that on video, um, so you'll have to forgive me, but all four corners are bled, and the system has been flushed and replaced with uh, modal 5.1 brake fluid. Um, I can't say, and those speed bleeders are awesome. That was the easiest brake bleed and brake flush that I've ever done. I mean, for something as simple as that, you just replace your bleeder valve like I showed you with uh, that check valve the speed bleeder hook up your bottle with a little bit of hose and pump your brakes and it fills up the bottle no air gets back in because of the check valve and you're done once you've bled one side or one corner you tighten it back up move on to the next corner I bled, bled and flushed the entire car in, in a half an hour, if not less. It was a piece of cake. So, all that's left now is slap tires back on it, and then I can take this out and get the front brakes bedded in and uh, see how it feels. Um, all right, well, I'm going to put the wheels back on this, get it back on the ground, and we'll see how it looks with the tires on it. All right, guys, it's back on the ground. All four tires are on. And I think that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Now in the garage, I can see the shade of red is, is darker in the rear. But uh, again, I don't think that's gonna, I don't think that'll bother me too much. I need to get it out in the sun and see how that looks but I mean it's better than leaving it uh, bare metal you know in the rear so all in all I'm pretty happy with how that little project turned out so that's gonna do it for this one if you hung in this far uh, again I really appreciate it if you haven't already please hit that uh, subscribe button and the notification bell and like the video for me that will really help me keep this going uh, as much as I can. Um, I guess on that topic, I, I, I should, uh, along those lines, um, I think I am going to have to slow these down with this whole coronavirus thing and the economic slowdown. You know, my portfolio is taking a pretty good hit, and this channel isn't uh, this channel isn't uh, paying for itself yet. You know, I only started this channel about three months ago. And then, of course, this virus hits and, and the everything is slowed down and it's not looking good. So my plan had been to kind of subsidize the channel with projects for a year or so until I built a, a sufficient subscriber base that maybe it would sustain itself and, and bring a little bit of money back. You know, I'm not looking to replace my full-time job doing this, but if I can make a hobby out of it and... and pay for my hobby this way then that might be uh, worthwhile but uh, as it stands right now I can't justify um, 
spending more money on projects with the current economic forecast so I'm gonna have to slow it down which is gonna mean these videos are gonna slow down for a while I'm still gonna keep recording I've got uh, two good road trips planned for this summer and I'm sure I'll come up with some more stuff to do to this thing um, you know not to mention I've still got the Kia sitting back there that we haven't gotten into uh, it doesn't need anything right now but uh, it's gonna need a good detail I can do a video on that and uh, and then my road trips I got coming up here this summer so more content coming just not as much as I had hoped so again if you hung in this far really appreciate it uh, and if you can please hit that uh, subscription button and uh, the notification bell and like the video that would really help me out so until the next video I'll see you soon thanks